Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kathy, and I'm back with another process video. Uh, this is for Scrap Lift uh, Sunday over at Paper Issues, and uh, we are scrap lifting a really awesome layout by one of the other uh, design team members, and you can check it out on the Friends and Fans Facebook page or on the blog at the shop. So I believe I have um, the link in the description below for the shop. And if you look up paper issues on uh, on Facebook, you can join the friends and fans page if you don't already belong to it. And they have awesome challenges like running constantly. So it's really awesome and you can make a layout and be entered to win a gift certificate and everything. So <clears throat> anyway, the main part of this layout is going to be banners kind of going down. Um, I think there were three in the original uh, layout that I'm scrap lifting. I think I end up with like five maybe at the end. Four or five. <laughs> anyway, um, my original thought was I was going to do it all on this really fun crazy background and uh, I don't really mind the idea of it but uh, it this would be a lot of pattern and I'm not afraid of pattern like at all and I think you guys kind of know that but I was just having a lot of difficulty getting it the way I liked it and I liked the triangle back one with the red and the yellow but it was kind of clashing and I definitely wanted to put in a bit of pink because the whole point of this layout is about his pink shirt he was wearing um, for like anti-bullying day and I just wanted to document that so you know there's a lot of colors going on in this picture so I can bring in you know as many colors as I want uh, just because you know it's a very but because like the pictures bright and colorful and then the flags they were kind of getting lost on that background like they weren't they weren't standing out enough or anything like that and I thought well I think it'd be better if I just made that piece like made a flag out of that piece instead so a few of the papers two of the papers are from the cool kid line that paper is actually the b side of one from um cute girl the stars are from a uh, studio studio calico seven paper and i originally bought it at the paper issue store and i don't know if it's there anymore because i don't think they're making that product anymore but I love that paper um, and that's gonna I'm just gonna use the B side of that so it's a different blue and the pink is uh, Maggie Holmes and I think it's from the bloom collection yeah I think so or the shine collection it, it one or the other anyway so I'm kind of using a variety of papers but they're all they all match really well they they work really well. I'm popping up a couple of the banners on some pop dots just so that they'll stay up the whole time. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to back them on white cardstock. Now in the, the scrap lift that I'm working from, it uh, it had, uh, what was it called, modeling paste, I think, in the background. Um, it had some mixed media. And just because I was going to be doing a lot of other stuff, I decided not to do mixed media. I'm just going to do some splatters to kind of uh, resemble that uh, that style. So I'm just using some 6x6 six six papers from Cool Kid. Uh, just using a bit of yellow to bring in that color so it's not so weird if I bring it in with any ephemera or embellishments or anything like that. I love that triangle. I have... I don't know why I never bought that as a full paper. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go buy that as a full paper. I only bought some of the, like I bought all the embellishments for the Cool Kid collection, but not all the papers because I didn't like all the papers, but I don't remember seeing that one. And now maybe I'm going to have to pop over to the, <laughs> to the paper issue store and make another purchase. Um, so I'm just going to grab a ton of ephemera and um, I thought about bringing in that that one there. That was a piece of pink uh, Paige Evans um, first line, Fancy Free. But I end up going through the ephemera and I have my cute girl and cool kid 
uh, collections together uh, for ephemera. So I just kind of go through and grab anything that I think might be really fun or applicable. I loved those little hearts. Um, even on this layout, I know someone might consider that weird or something. I don't know, but I liked it. And because I was bringing acetate on one side, I needed to bring an acetate on the other. So I decided to go with the banner, uh, more so to just kind of use it up. Because when else was I going to use it? And I do apologize if you can hear stuff in the background. All the kids are out in the living room and they're quite loud when they're out there. Uh, I'm going to use some of the chipboard. I love the little teddy bear. I know it has no basis, like it's not a theme to what's going on, but I... Again, for me, that's not really important that it be themed. Uh, and I like the little chipboard boy. And then there's some chipboard, or sorry, there's some little boy stickers. And so they all kind of, I end up with like three little kids on the top, which is kind of cute. And so I was kind of using stickers and phrases that are, I don't know, kind of like encouraging like the superhero one and stuff like that. Just to kind of be like, you know, He's really, my son is really big into like making sure people don't get bullied and stuff like that. Like he's very aware of it um, at school and it's really cute. So yeah, there's this other little boy there with the blue hair and he's got like pink peach on him. So that's perfect because I do want to add in the pops of, pops of pink around. Um... And the Love You, the little ephemera piece that's down there, is actually um, from the Cute Girl collection. And I thought it worked out really well. I mean, it kind of fit because I wanted to add in a bit more pink. Because you can't be afraid to use pink <laughs> on a boy layout. Um, I have some upcoming layouts that I'm going to be working on. I think that I'm going to try to switch out stuff that's going on um <laughs> very vague <laughs> I'm leaving that as vague <laughs> um the B I really liked that card with the B and then I was like oh I'm gonna cover up the fact that it says B for boy and then that more so means to me that it means like beef as in bullying uh so it kind of plays into this whole theme um so I'm just stapling down my acetate as opposed to putting any kind of stickers on it. I'm just putting some fun foam under stuff since it's a very thin foam. I have a circle in the other cluster so then I had to put a circle in this cluster. And then there's these little stickers that say love. I liked that cool kid but I ended up using it. It was kind of um, wrecked on the top. I think I must have tried to use it one other time and uh, messed it up. <laughs> so it's kind of wrinkly and and kind of gross. Um, that yeah circle has silver on it so that's why I had to add in the little phrase sticker that had silver because I want to bring in silver on both sides. So I'm not really doing three clusters for this layout um, but the title is obviously the the third cluster is how how I would work this out because you don't always have to have clusters of three when you've got like large embellishment clusters like this. And I'm using up lots of the ephemera from the Cool Kid collection. It's a really, really awesome collection. And it paired really well, like with this pink and everything. I was really surprised. I thought it was not going to work out. Uh, but I really do like it. And then I'm like, I need something. Like, whenever I do a white background, it's like never enough. Like, very, <laughs> there's so many times that I do it and I cannot help but add a border around it. It's just like never, I don't know, it just seems really unfinished when it's just white paper. I'm just way too into patterned, to pattern paper um, and using lots of it. So I'm not going to cut anything off the top because I don't want to lose any of the banners. So I'm just cutting from the other three sides and I'm having a big border around. And this paper is an older Jen Hadfield. I think it was called DIY Home. And I bought a couple just because I wanted the black and white stripes for doing exactly this. Uh, that's This is exactly what I bought it for, was for backing paper. Now, I could have cut the middle out and all that stuff. But there's, there's always going to be lines uh, that have black and white stripes. So, you know. So I'm, I'm doing some 
uh, pen work to make it look like stitches. I'm just drawing a line, but then I do these little kind of uh, triangles in it to make it look like the stitching is a different type and then a little tie, a little knot in different areas to make it look like I tied it there. And then I'm going to do something kind of weird and, you know, t bring in this pink paisley, take me away, uh, uh, stickers. And I was going to put hashtag no more bullying or no more bullies or something like that. And then I was like, hmm, I don't really want to spell that all out and figure that out. So I'm just going to write pink shirt day. And I'm just deciding where to put it. And I mean, I could put it there, but it was, it was just blending in a bit too much. And I mean, something about this that would bug me is the fact that the K is, and the N are on the border <laughs> or are on the banner and the other one isn't. These are just tiny word stickers from my stash. I didn't really have anything else. I didn't want to bring in... I don't know. I just, I, I could have used larger black thickers to do this as well and it would have looked cool and maybe I should have in the end, but I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be too, uh, too huge and I might do some strip, um, poker. No, I'm just kidding. Not strip poker. <laughs> Strips of journaling, uh, right under that. So it leaves the space kind of open for that. Because where else am I going to do the journaling? <laughs> anyway, I could do it under the banners with, underneath that play all day and stuff. I could do that there too. Anyway, so this is Dilutions, I think. Shimmers. Um, Shimmers Jenny B. Blue. Uh, it was just the right kind of blue for what I wanted. And I didn't want all the, the you know. The only other blues I had were the Heidi Swap Color Shine. They didn't work so well. I'm using a brush because it was much easier to get the spots out. And I accidentally get some on that sticker and ugh, it, it started to seep into the sticker. And I don't mind getting stuff. Oh, there's a big splat, splatter on the uh, picture too. <laughs> and I don't bother wiping it off. I just let it dry. You can barely notice it because his hair is so dark and the background's blue. So yeah, it uh, I didn't really need to worry about it. But I do notice it start to to cover it. So there, I'm gonna cover it with with Pink Fresh Studio wood little dots and a yellow one and a green one and a pink one. Yeah. So pictures are coming up. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And if you go shop at the store, remember to use the code Cat Martin twenty. Bye.